Hi, my name is Mr. Barker. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Centennial High School, and I am in charge of uh, setting up the Daffodil Project here. Um, the Daffodil Project is something that uh, one of the parents uh, of a student here, uh, Ms. Lisa Winnaker, um, has been giving a lot of assistance with and was very eager to try to bring this program here a couple years ago. Um, and I ended up uh, basically joining in the project when I first started working here in November of 2020. Um, it's, uh, it's an international project that is set up to plant um, millions of daffodils uh, to represent the uh, 1.5 million children that were um, lost and killed during the Holocaust, um, as well as to help bring uh, as well as to help bring attention towards continual atrocities that tend to happen around the country today, so that we can try to reduce that. We have done the daffodil project for three years. The first year started off uh, right as the pandemic was starting, and so the spring blooming part of the ceremony we weren't able to actually conduct because everyone was at home. Um, we did do a dedication ceremony the following year, which we were very pleased about. Um, this year, during our fall plantings uh, project, we ended up having a pretty uh, heavy, a high increase in the amount of students that were helping out from the previous year. We looked at, at about at least double the amount of students volunteers we had, which we're very happy and proud of. We're hoping to try to increase that number a little bit more each year. That's our goal is a few more students each year. Um, we especially had uh, help from a couple of groups, one of which was the National Honor Society um, that had a lot of volunteers that were part of the project, as well as uh, students who participated in this project at other schools that have started it, um, uh, such as our middle school programs um, and uh, ones that have just started in their own community from various organizations. We were very happy this year to have a uh, Holocaust survivor, uh, Mr. Greenblatt, here. We were very glad that he was be able to come in person and speak this year. It's always a pleasure to have him talk about some of his experiences and his involvement in daffodil projects around the Atlanta area. Um, we also had Ms. Vitaleski, um, who is one of the uh, founders of the Daffodil Project. Um, and uh, she came and spoke for a moment and has always been a big supporter of us and been the big reason why we've been able to bring that project to Centennial High School. We are very, very pleased to have a lot more of the um, adults from our district as well as some parents that weren't able to make it last year were able to make it this year. So far, we've planted about 1,250 that have contributed to the overall 1.5 million. Um, the overall global goal has gotten over 750,000 as, as of today. Um, and so we're very proud to be a part of that. And we're hoping to plant even more next year. Our goal is to eventually fill up the entire um, flagpole area with all daffodils if we can. And, and that would be several thousand at that point. So we're very happy and excited about that. Uh, my name is Herschel Greenblatt. Uh, a survivor uh, born in the Ukraine, uh, survived with my parents and two of my sisters. Uh, my father was in the underground resistance in Poland and in the Ukraine uh, during, uh, during World War II. And I guess because of his uh, resistance and fortitude, uh, we were able to escape and uh, eventually come to the United States. Of course, uh, our family lost pretty much everybody. My father's family had uh, Belgian concentration camp, uh, and then my uh, mother's family uh, in the outskirts of their hometown were uh, machine gunned to death. I got involved with speaking as far as uh, the Holocaust uh, through a very, very close friend of mine uh, about 10 years ago. Uh, when I was asked to go to see a movie at the Jewish Film Festival, which was which was a movie about the underground resistance in the Ukraine, which my father was part of. So at that time, they, I was uh, until then I really didn't want to talk about it. I, I just, uh, I, mean, I was you know raising a family, uh, you know, you know going on with my life. But then I felt that I had to do it, uh, and then I met. Uh, Andrea uh, at a uh, at a function at the Bremen, and she asked if I would, uh, you know, be uh, talk of, at the at Daffodil Projects and and actually participate in planting. Uh, we planted for you know here in Atlanta had a, the honor of planting daffodils in Israel. So for the last I guess four or five years, I've been very heavily involved. Uh, anytime I can talk to students about the daffodil program. Uh, daffodils are perennial. They're going to keep growing and growing and they're going to bloom every year. 
the next step is to, uh, as they grow, be aware of uh, their meaning. Uh, uh, be be aware of, uh, you know, uh, when you see a daffodil, uh, you know that a child was murdered when you're looking at it, and it's a. Uh, so as the years go by, I, I want I want my great grandson. You know, if he sees a daffodil, he'd be able to say, you know, my great grandfather uh, worked on this. Uh, my uh, my great grandmother planted. She she planted flowers all over the world. 